Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's take a look again on Euro currency. So uh, yesterday we talked about the short term perspective and actually it was the two scenarios on the table that market could show the be deep retracement or it will continue up reduction immediately. Uh, any scenario that we had talked about yesterday uh, doesn't suggest that we should take the position here because on the daily chart we have the bullish context but uh, as market stands very close to the resistance uh, we now I'm watching for retracement and this retracement uh, was able to start either from yesterday's uh, area where market was around the OP top and it was really chance that market will start to drop right from there or uh, as it's coming right now inside of this strong resistance the confidence resistance on the daily 11080 111 or 7 area XOP stands 1136 so another chance that market will start this major retracement right from there so yesterday our trading plan uh, doesn't suggest any trading on a daily chart for the daily traders and today the situation hasn't changed this market is coming closer to resistance here we on a daily chart do not have anything to do we still need to wait for a position taken because taking the short position we uh, do not have the context for that because overall context is bullish and trend is bullish here uh, market is not that they were bought, so we do not have any bearish directional patterns. But one uh, from the one side, uh, from the second side, or another side, yeah, it, it is too early to take the long position because market stands in the strong resistance. So we, anyway, we, we, we need to wait for some pullback. And here, market is entering in a turbulence area because, uh, from the one point of view, it uh, has made the challenge on the upward continuation because OP has been hit. Market has completed just minor pullback here. It's around 30% and reestablished upward action. That is challenge of the upward continuation because market already has exceeded the OP top. It means that this leg we should treat as the next leg right to the next target. So that was first leg, retracement, second leg, second extension, retracement is done as market has moved above the previous top. If market would stay below this top, we could suggest deeper ABCD retracement as well. But now, there's no chances for that. And here, we need to keep an eye what really will happen here. So currently, as you can see, market has reached the first lower border of this consolidation. This, by the way, guys, very important level because this is major 30% resistance, 1080 area. Uh, so, and it will be interesting what will happen around this level. Uh, so see what will happen for scalp traders this is another headache because they uh, will have to think about the possible taking short positions or something on that sort but we here will just keep watching and wait for a reasonable pullback here and actually we will be watching for a pattern that we discussed yesterday as well this is reverse hand shoulders uh, on the four hour time frame chart now it takes better shape because market has moved slightly higher and our neckline has become flatter it's more horizontally and uh, that is better for the shape of the passion and now it's just a question where this deep retracement will start to form right arm of this passion uh, that's the major things to keep an eye on for traders who trade on the daily charts in general I would say that the situation on the euro currency is very tricky and, and full of the uh, traps by the few reasons I will show you guys a few charts and you understand what's really what, why the situation is in general very tricky. First of all, on the daily chart, uh, as I said, market stands in the strong resistance. Great British pound stands at the same level as well. So finally, our target has been hit, and that is also confidence resistance 20 and 37, 28, 80, as we discussed in our weekly report. That is strong confidence resistance as well. It's also an agreement, and all this stuff is. For the euro, it's important, and for Great British Pound, all this stuff is coming to the deadline of the Brexit. It's the Victorian relations uh, stands in a 
use. So mm, it's, it seems that uh, Great Britain comes to the successful agreement in the giant steps, but that is also news. So what's really is going on there, nobody could say. And, and uh, it's again, it's uh, time to remind you that uh, things that Ireland will be untouched by the Brexit uh, splitting of the economy space, this is good news. But this is, this, it, it doesn't provide an answer on where this border will be between the United Kingdom or between the Great Britain and the European Union, where the economy border will, will, be, will, will sta stand. Uh, and that is the, the question that really makes me uh, worry and uh, makes our sus suspicious on this rally is not in vain. So uh, the situation is far from the final solution, I suppose. But this is not all yet, guys. Now let's take a look at the gold price in the euro. That is the weekly chart. On the weekly chart of the uh, gold in euro, we have the perfect double repo sale pattern. Outstanding thrust, close below the 3 by 3 close above, and close below again. By this pattern, uh, if of course it will work, uh, market should drop significantly. It means that either your euro should rise uh, extremely strong or gold should collapse. By taking a look at the gold chart, you will not see any signs of collapse yet. So it's a bit tricky moment. So it means that uh, most probable that some reaction, some action should happen and probably will happen on your currency. And uh, combining this all stuff together, it creates really explosive mix of the different uh, setups that's uh, very difficult to combine and together and, and, and find some final um, price behavior that will satisfy to all passions that we have on the different assets. On the, on the cable, on the gold, on the euro. So that really makes overall situation a bit confusing and uh, it's really very difficult to find uh, one single correct solution on on the trading. So what, what direction to trade market and uh, uh, what position should be taken here. Since we have the hint on the passion, as I said, on the follow down from chart, we'll try to stick with this because uh, that's at least uh, something clear and if market will behave in this manner, well, maybe uh, that's will, uh, this will help us to make the uh, decision not just occasionally, but it's based on some passion. So in a shorter term perspective, uh, we need to keep an eye on what will happen around this resistance because currently market shows very good upside space uh, up upside pace um, it keeps harmonic retracement and in fact it stands an upward channel so take a look at our return we have this accurate channel up the price behavior is also very similar since the first swing so take a look market hasn't quite reached the top of the channel retracement then upper final leg sideways action collapse. Here's again, not quite reached, final leg, sideways action collapse. Now again, not quite reached, so it means that following this tendency, here we should get some upper continuation to the upper part of the channel inside of the confluence resistance and maybe to the XLP target. What I would like to say is that, uh, speaking on those guys of you who still have long position, yesterday we said that you better to grab some profit and move your stops to the break even and actually it was correct decision so uh, in the current cir circumstance when market stands inside the resistance you are still taking a part in this rally but at the same time the half of the profit in your pocket and you are standing with a riskless trade uh, this is definitely not the time for taking new longs speaking on the short position if you're a scalp trader well guys uh, I think that we need to get first some bearish, clear bearish signs. Existence of this butterfly is not sufficient enough if, of course, you are trading not on the five minute chart. In this case, yes, you could try to take some minor position with this minor retracement, but if you trade on hourly, four hour time frame chart, we need to break the bullish tendency first. So, uh, for example, we need to get out of the channel uh, to see the increasing of this harmonic swing to the downside that market is coming lower. So in this case, yes, this tendency will be broken and this will be some background for taking the short position. 
or at least maybe here will be formed some clear bearish reversal pattern on the hourly chart, on the 30 minute chart, something of that sort. Currently, as market still keeping upside tendency, forming lower, low, uh, high lows and higher tops, uh, I do not see a really valuable background for taking the position, except maybe existence of the strong daily resistance. We have here a pattern, but for position taking, it still would be better if we will get some clear bearish reversal pattern uh, inside of this range, inside of the daily confluence resistance. Currently, well, we have some skewed, a bit ugly butterfly here, but uh, it's not enough for position taking here. So uh, that's what we have on your accounts. It seems that something probably will happen in the nearest time and action probably will be strong. Uh, but here we have some problems uh, with the estimating of the direction. But still, uh, we will try to keep our training plan and follow the clear setups that we have. First of all, it's of course uh, these possible reverse controllers. Uh, this is it's, it has the clear shape. It makes easy to follow this pattern, and uh, that's actually the only potential pattern that we have right now on the table. Uh, now it's just we need to wait a bit more and see whether the market will form it or not. And since the strong resistance exists above the market, chance on appearing of this pattern are not really bad. So it, it could be formed actually. So uh, if situation will change and market will show different action, well, we will follow the market and see uh, what we could do in the new circumstances.